As the Clone Wars progressed, more and more ground-based legions found themselves pressed into space combat, including the fighting forces of the 501st. For months, every hour of our downtime was spent in the simulator, preparing for the time we would face our enemies from the cockpit of a 170. Finally, the day came to earn our wings. The CIS had staged a daring kidnapping of Chancellor Palpatine and was being escorted from Coruscant by a fleet of Separatist ships. With only a few veteran pilots on planet, many of the 501st were pressed into service to drive off the Seps and buy time for a pair of Jedi Knights to rescue the Chancellor. All hands to battle stations. Repeat, all hands to battle stations. Pilots and Marines, get to your ships. The Jedi are depending on you. Incoming fighters, take them out. Ship acting as a frigate for the droids. Destroy it. CIS ships. We need their shields down as quickly as possible. Take down the 
Droid Communications Array. That'll give you an opening. They're in disarray. Fly into their hangar and land. Be careful. Check out that bomber. Attention, clear the hangar area. Repeat, clear the hangar area. Use rockets or time bombs to destroy the internal systems. Destroy the bridge of the enemy cruiser. as well on its way to victory. After disabling the final capital ship, General Kenobi and Skywalker took advantage of the opportunity we'd created and rescued the Chancellor. Took all the credit, too. Good work. Now collect the core samples and return them to the dropship on the other side of the bridge. Now take the crystals back to the dropship. 